Hello everyone, SciTech here. Thought I'd start a new playthrough series, uh, this game called Moonbase. I played it a while back, it's still in early access, um, and I had a lot of fun playing it when it first came to early access, and it's had quite a few updates since then. Um, I thought it'd be good to revisit it. Uh, currently you can pick it up as a standalone download from the developer, um, Karen4 or uh, on the Steam platform. I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in. Um, there is a tutorial mode um, here, but I've played this before, and I'll just talk about the game aspects for you while I'm uh, going through the normal mission. So you have three modes, essentially. Tutorial, obviously, is what it says it is. It teaches you the basics of the game. The normal mission, basically you land. It gives you a random number of days you have to survive on the planet. Um, survive that long and you essentially uh, complete the mission. Then there's creative where you basically all the survival aspects, your oxygen, health, um, having to unlock things for crafting, all that goes away and you can just play around in like a sandbox mode. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in here. Normal mission, give ourselves a name, go ahead and pick a color and a face. And click start. All right, so we got actually lucky here. Uh, it says survive for 27 days. I've seen it as high as 45, um, as low as 25. So we got pretty lucky here on a 27 day survival run. Let's go ahead and launch in. All right, so we got lucky again as well with our supply crates being real close to the pod. Usually they're a little ways away and you gotta search for them, but in this case we found them right away. Um, we also got a lot of wood right nearby, which is good. It's what we'll use as a primary source for our energy early on. I'm gonna go ahead and clear up some of this on the ground here so we can make room for our base. Wow. This is a lucky gen. Um, so these maps are auto-generated every time you play resource and layout is randomized and we got really lucky and I'll explain why in a minute um, but first we want to get our base started you can always move this later or change it but we're gonna go ahead and just get it started I'll put down an airlock uh, you can you can rotate pieces by default in the game it's the R key if playing on PC and keyboard or mouse and keyboard All right, we're gonna drop a bioreactor um, drop bioreactor there, gonna drop our workbench right here. Alright. Now I am going to just spend a few minutes collecting up some resources. We need to generate some power. Luckily I had wood really close, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my generator going right now. Uh, so I can start producing oxygen in the base. Um, let me go over the interface real quick. Um, so up here in the upper left you have your O2 meter. Basically this is going to go down when you're outside consuming oxygen in your suit. You have suit power meter. This is going to go down when you're using personal tools like flashlight. We have the map icon here to toggle your map. Uh, tech icon to toggle your tech tree upgrade. In the middle you have your day that you're on, the time of day, and your progression through the day. So this icon here will move as the day progresses. It's day-night cycle meter. So you do have day and night time. You also have weather aspects. Over here you've got your health bar and your hunger bar. Hunger bar is going to obviously go down over time. can be replenished by eating things um, like tubers and fruits um, or meals that you prepare through crafting or unlocking through research. Um, this cube thing, we got really, really lucky having this spawn so close to our drop pod. This is what we use to unlock research. Um, and I'll show that to you here in a little bit as soon as we can unlock our research station. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep collecting up resources here. My O2 is getting really low, so I'm going to have to go into the base and replenish. Also, you can see some things I'm not allowed to get yet. Um, it requires me to craft a tool to pick up. Uh, while you're in the base, you can interact with things really close to the square you're on. You notice I was able to access the crafting bench there. 
I'm able to put wood into the bioreactor, um, which is nice. If you've got things sitting outside while you're um, refilling oxygen, you can do things that you need to do. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and craft a simple shovel here. It's going to let us get some of those resources we couldn't pick up earlier. I could craft some water, but I don't need it right now, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try and take advantage of what daylight we have left as it's about to get dark out. Try and collect up some of this additional wood that I saw down here. Get some fruit here and I deal with hunger. You can make a simple meal early on using the grass, but I haven't seen a lot of grass yet. some grass that's good we'll be able to make some food go ahead here and just try and grab this real quick you can see my suit meter is now going down that I'm using my flashlight Trying to collect up some resources here. All right, it's starting to rain as well. I told you there was weather elements. You can see that happening. Oh, we've got some light. So that can hurt me if it hits me. Um, you notice just before it struck, you had like these areas of blue electrical light on the ground. That's going to show you where the lightning is going to go, like, or could potentially go. Alright, you can see over here O2, so your base stats, so how much oxygen is in your base, your battery power if you have any, and your water supplies if you have any. Right now this is a very simple base, we don't have any. I consumed all the oxygen that was stored to refill my meter, so right now my meter is going up. But because my suit oxygen is being filled, my base oxygen is not being filled, but this doesn't mean I'm suffocating, it just means that we're not adding any extra O2 to the base O2 storage. Now we're just going to let this fill up. It's almost daytime. Um, I'm going to craft some food here. Now you right click to consume food that's in your um, item bar. I'm going to go ahead and eat both of those. You can see our oxygen started filling back up in our base because our meter is full, or our personal O2 is full. I always want to try to walk through that. Should not try to do that. I need to collect up a bunch of minerals here and some rocks because I need to make uh, the next few things we need for crafting and research. Just get this done here real quick. So yeah, I like this game a lot. It's kind of casual. It can be, or it can be not casual, depending on how aggressively you want to play it. Um, it uh, definitely in the early stages of the game, it gets a little crazy because you don't have a lot of things to generate resources and keep your hunger up and keep your O2 filled. Now this is staying on the ground because my item bar is full. So item management early in, in the early part of the game is a bit of a hassle because you can't craft storage containers yet and you just have what's in your item bar to store stuff. Alright, let's try and find some more boulders. Let's just see if we can get this crafted. I need here. I need a few more boulders. Wow, they're actually tougher to find than I anticipated. Here's some over here. Okay. I'm gonna grab some of this grass and fruit while I'm up here.
All right, we're going to let our... If you notice, my gauges and all my HUD went away, and I had a little message at the top saying suit power um, was basically empty. I forgot to turn off my flashlight, ran down my suit power, and it makes your HUD go away. So I came back to base real quick to fill up. Grab some oxygen. I'm going to go ahead and craft our smelter. Let me go ahead and drop this right down here. It's got to be near a power source, so you can't just drop it anywhere and have it work. It needs to be close to power. All right. Got to craft up some iron plates here. And while that's working, I'm going to pop up here real quick. I want to make my research lab next, so I need to find another circuit board. And my plates, so in order to get circuit boards, it's a random drop from the scrap metal that's laying around. So you have to go and find scrap metal. I'm going to grab any useful things I find along the way, of course. Wow, another research cube. Wow, that is just amazing to have those two so close to the base. Oh, there's our circuit board we needed. That's fantastic. I'll go ahead and grab this research cube. All right. I'm going to drop these research cubes. I need to, I need, again, like I talked about earlier, the item management early on in the game is a little bit of a pain in the butt because you have only this bar to work with. I forgot I need another uh, metal plate here. Let that craft up. O2 is getting a little low. I'm going to pop in here and fill it up while we're working on the crafting bench. Okay, let's craft up our research station. Oh, another lightning storm. So I talked about these cubes, so you have to use these cubes to unlock research points. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Mm. That should be getting power from my bioreactor. That might be a bug. Again, this is early access, so you're going to run into bugs. That should have powered um, from my bioreactor. I'm really surprised that it wasn't. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and get research going there. Okay. So now you can see it's got time lapse. It takes some time, and the more you research, the longer this time goes up through the game, so it takes longer to research points. Huh, this must be new, everyone. Um, there must be a limited number of things you can power with a bioreactor. I don't remember that being the case back in the day when I played. Um, I need four metal plates. Um. 
Oh, and we're hungry, so let's... Do that. We're gonna eat some food. So we can't get our hunger all the way up here so we can start so if you have full health you'll start re or full hunger you'll start recovering health Well, this is really throwing me for a loop. I don't remember this being a thing last time where you couldn't power all the stuff with your bioreactor. I'm going to have to wait for my research. Okay, so we've researched Artifact 16. Looks like it's a planter of some kind. So we can pop over to our tech upgrades. You can see I have five samples now from researching that cube. And that's going to allow me to research things over here on the left, right? So we can do construction, which is going to allow us to expand our base. We could do tools, which is going to give us better tools that don't break down as easily. We can do some cooking. You can't do storage. See, it requires construction. So you have to do construction first. I think I'm going to research construction. We can get by on food with the plants that we have. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and do construction right off the bat. And you notice we got a few more things unlocked here. Uh, one of the important things is these uh, solar uh, power research. It's gonna let us do solar panels and wind turbines, um, a bunch of stuff, so we're not constantly having to feed biofuel into a bioreactor. craft up two of these uh, craft up two of those trying to get another bioreactor going so we don't run out of power here on our components like I said it's a little hectic early on trying to manage items in your item panel and then your resource alright so let's Go ahead and craft another. And let's go ahead and put this in here, research that. Let's stick that bioreactor down here. It should give us enough power. Yeah, there we go. I used the last of my wood though, so. And it's nighttime, of course. Um, we got quite a ways to go in our night cycle, so unfortunately that's not good. Take a look at the map. As you explore the map, you know, the fog of war disappears. You can see what's on the map. You can also identify things that you found it's by hovering over them. So you can see a tree, a dead tree, a rock, blue shroom, ice. So you can identify resources on your map after you've walked through it, the area, to discover it. All right, so we're gonna need we need a lot of minerals. I mean, I got a fair amount. Let's see what do we actually need here. I need three. So I need three steel plates, a circuit board, three steel plates, a circuit board, and two beams. Okay. So now I need I need a circuit board. Let's see if we had any scrap metal laying around here. Oh yeah, there's some scrap metal. Oh good, it's getting daytime, which is really good. I need a circuit board. 
I also need wood. So anytime I see wood, I gotta grab it up. Come on, give me that circuit board. Ugh. Gotta be conscious of my O2 levels. Gets to about halfway, I have to head back. It's getting pretty close. Let me gather up this grass because I need to make some food. I need that circuit board. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's head back to base. Just that double check where it is. The map is good for that. Of those fruit. All right. Let's get in here, we'll top off our bioreactors. Let's uh, top off our food here. I'm going to go ahead and drop my ice for a second. Again, it's this item management gets a little tedious in the early game. You don't have storage. Go ahead and craft my construction yard. We're gonna end up moving these things eventually as well, so I am just gonna go ahead and pop that there. Looks like we have some more research ready. Awesome, looks like we got a cat bed. <laughs> Let's go to tech upgrades. I'm battling a lot with storage. Normally I do tools, but I think I'm gonna unlock storage um, right away so I can get some storage going. Great, we can uh, craft a storage container, which is really good. Let me go ahead and stick these over here. Alright, so stuff I don't need right away. I'll leave the rest of that in there for right now. Craft up some more of these meals. Our bioreactor stopped topped off. It's nighttime again, and there's a sandstorm outside, so it's not a good time to go out looking around in the dark. I'm kind of off my cycle here. Ideally, you want to be doing crafting and things at night while you're close to base and out exploring during the day, and I've kind of been doing the opposite, which isn't very good.
Yeah, I didn't know what that icon was for, so I just clicked it. Looks like it just adds a workbench, which I don't really need because I already have one, but. I mean, it's not bad to have multiples, um, because you're going to want to be crafting things at the same time. It's going to save time. Alright, we're almost to daytime here. Kind of got to get a plan for what I'm doing next. I think we need to expand our base a little bit and find another cube so we can unlock power, I think, because I'm getting really tired of stocking these bioreactors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I use a constructor for that and power stuff once it gets unlocked. Yeah, we definitely need to do some more exploring. Let's see which direction haven't I gone. Let's go this way. Man, there's a lot of plants. Get some circuit boards. So I'm looking for scrap metal, looking for cubes, research cubes. Um, I have quite a bit of food, so grass would be like a secondary at the moment. Wood definitely is a priority for the bioreactors. Go ahead and get that. I really need a research cube so I can unlock power. I probably actually should have done that before storage, but I was getting really tired of trying to drop things on the ground. I mean, it's not bad. They don't go away. You can go back and pick them back up again um, when you need to. Like, I don't want to be carrying around this seed right now because I'm not doing any kind of planting. So I'm going to just ditch it. You notice once you drop it on the ground it doesn't auto collect because it actually the game is smart enough to know that you dropped it from inventory and that you don't want it in your inventory so it's not going to keep picking it up. Oh. You see the little color bar down here under my tool? That's its durability. When it goes all dark it breaks and you have to craft another one. Getting lucky with the circuit boards. I really wanted to find a cube and I haven't found one. Go look at the map real quick. Okay, we need to head back. My O2 is getting low, low. Oh, look at that. We found a cube on the way back. That's fantastic. Alright, we're going the right way here. Okay, let's pop this research cube in. This bar will progress to you as your research progresses in that two minute timer, so you'll know kind of where you're sitting with your research progress. We'll get power unlocked, get some solar panels built. What I need for batteries. I'll just need another. Oh, so you can see as you start to want to unlock things, they take more samples. So we're not actually going to be able to unlock this with just one cube because every cube gives you five samples. So we have to find another cube. And it's about to be nighttime. Let me uh, top off my food here.
four steel plates. Hmm. Need more minerals. Well, that sucks. I had the wrong thing selected. So pay attention to that when you're crafting. Like you, you have to actually flip over to the thing you need like I actually wanted metal plates I wasn't paying attention and I crafted beams and they take more materials than the plates do and what you saw there was a leak you can get air leaks in your base and so you just go to the tile that's red and left click on it to repair it there's our five research points so you can see um, it totals how many available points you have under the bottle so we need 10 for the power upgrade, so I've got to go find another cube as soon as it's daytime. We're just going to wait for a day to come here, um, wait out the storm as well. You can build water collectors, which are going to collect water for you um, when it's raining, which is a good thing. Uh, you can use that to water indoor gardens and plants when you start getting to the farming aspect of the game. Okay, I need to find a cube here. Let's go this way. Try not to get hit by lightning. Your game will autosave every day. Um, so every morning when it becomes a new day, your game will autosave. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Just looking for a cube. And minerals. I should have crafted another shovel, dang it. This is gonna break on me. Yep. Uh, that's not good. Alright. Just some mundane resource gathering here, buddy. I apologize, but that's part of the early game, really. Just gathering a bunch of stuff you need. Let's drop the seeds because I don't need those. Let's see right. So this, the uh, research cubes show up as black squares um, on the map when you discover them. I'm getting really close to needing to head back. Look, we found one. Thank goodness. It's fantastic. All right, let's head back. We'll get the research going. We'll unlock some power here, and we'll start building some renewable energy. I'm all about that. As you can see, constantly use your map. You can easily get turned around, lost, think you're in a one direction when you're not. So just use your map. It's okay, it's what it's there for. Later on in the game you can build technologies which help you locate your base um, with electronic signals and communications and things like that. Let's get the research started. And let's 
craft a few more plates. I'm gonna craft a shovel. Let's craft some more food. at night. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna try and go grab some more stuff before it gets too dark. Need some more ore, so we're gonna go ahead and just Grab this real quick before it gets too dark. You can see these basic tools, durability goes down really fast. That's why you want to do the tools upgrade in the research tree because you can get more durable tools. Search is almost done here. Yeah, I mean this the game is a lot of fun. Um, it gets a lot more interesting as you get into the game and uh, start unlocking technologies and things that you can do. All right, so we have 10 points now. We're gonna go ahead and unlock our power research. Well, that's interesting. Battery now requires chemistry, which it didn't before, so... Hmm. It's interesting. Alright, let's go see what we need. Get some solar panels down here. This is why these solar power solar panels are so important because <laughs> constantly having to feed these generators is a pain in the butt. My movement was slowed there because of the sandstorm. All right. Um, now these solar panels are only going to work in the daytime right now because I have no battery storage to store power. So we're going to need two more cubes to research chemistry and then two more cubes to research batteries in order to store the power um, that we're not using. which means we only need to fuel the biogenerators at night. Which is not really doing us very much good right now uh, because we really need the ability to store that power to make it useful since we're going to do a bulk of our crafting and building at night. I'm going to grab a bunch more of this ore. I know I'm going to need it for crafting 
uh, materials. Go ahead and grab up some of this. I just don't need the seeds right now. I'm not doing any kind of planting. Now what I could do with that seed is plant grass. Not have to go look for it, but I'm doing okay food-wise right now. Got a little bit of this ice because I'm going to need water later. Oh, look at that. I found a research cube. Fantastic. Right, just gonna grab a little bit more of this material here. Oh, I lost my shovel. Like I said, those basic tools, they just don't last that long. I mean, the name of the game early on is exploration. You need to be able to find those cubes and unlock things. And the quicker you do that, the better off you're gonna be. Obviously, because you're gonna have better technologies, you're gonna be able to do things automated and in a way that doesn't require you to be around your base keeping things running all the time. Now I also can craft circuit boards and things like that if I needed to. Um, instead of trying to find them out in the world but we haven't basically done like no exploring. So that's why it's not bothering me to go out and look for these things. Cubes you have to find through exploration. There's just no other way around it. Let's see, where's our base at? I'm gonna be cutting it a little close here with my O2. Okay, so like I said, nighttime solar panels don't do you any good unless you've got batteries to store the power during the day. They will run things during the day if I wanted to stick around here and do building and crafting, but, you know, let's get our research started here. I'm also noticing now that that research time is not going up like it did before, so maybe that was a change as well. Again, it's early access, or he's always the developers are always making changes. Make sure we're keeping our food up. So these cables, uh, if I wanted to put my solar panels out away from the base, I could run a cable from the one of the solar panels that's in the block of solar panels back to the base and it would power the base. It would transport the power essentially. Right now I have them just touching other things that are touching my base so this works like a power grid. Anything connected will get power. Okay. So basically we're still in exploration mode, so let's see where we want to go. I guess north or northwest. We need to find another cube. And as we're searching for a cube, we're still going to be collecting up some basic stuff. I should have crafted a shovel, but... It's okay, I have 27 minerals right now and I don't need boulders, so that's fine. Mainly looking for cubes.
And basic resources like wood and grass, grass to eat, and wood to power our bioreactors until we can get batteries unlocked. Ah, oh, there's a ton of scrap metal. Really would like another circuit board. Being stingy. Oh, there's a cube. Fantastic. Come on, drop the seeds. Bad thing about the cubes is they don't stack, so they're gonna take an entire slot in your inventory. Which I guess my goal at this point is just to locate one. I can't carry it back unless I'm gonna drop something. Goals are just cover as much land as as much area as you can. Just gonna grab this wood real quick because we need it for the bioreactors. Then I'm gonna head back. Don't think. Yeah. I said double check the map, make sure I didn't miss any cubes along the way. Sometimes if they're on the edge, you can miss them visually, uh, but they'll show up on the map with the the icon. Getting low on O2, so I'm really not going to stop and grab anything at the moment. Just gonna keep checking the map. So when you hear that beeping noise, oh man, that sucks. An air leak leaked out all my oxygen while I was gone. Uh, you heard that beep noise. It's basically an oxygen warning telling me that I'm getting low on oxygen. Okay, we're going to continue there. We're going to hit off another research. Got five points. This will give us ten. We'll be able to unlock chemistry. Then we need two more cubes so we can unlock batteries. Then we can use our solar panels. But you notice everything's being powered right now even though my bioreactors are off. That's because my solar panels are providing enough power to power everything. And once we get batteries unlocked, then I'll work on expanding the base um, and putting in more base tiles and generating more oxygen. And then the third thing we'll work on after base expansion will probably be food. So I don't have to keep eating this slop. Alright, time to power up the power our uh, bioreactors. Also the dust storm that's going on right now. Um, it's gonna probably coat my solar panels, so I'm gonna wanna check those in the morning. See if they need to be cleaned. Because they can get coated with dirt from the dust storms. Huh. Yeah, there's a bunch of new modules that weren't here the last time I played, so I'm just checking out what's in the research tree here while we're waiting. Oh, there's a suit upgrade. Max oxygen, 50%. Suit power, 50%. Get hungry less often. That takes a lot. It takes four cubes to research that. Might be worth it though, because it can extend our exploration time, but I really think I need batteries to store my solar powers and get my power under control. Alright, let's go to tech upgrades. We're going to research our chemistry here. 
Okay, we need two more cubes to get our batteries unlocked, which is really good. Okay, this is a good example of the dirt covering my solar panels. So all you do to clean these off is just come over here. Left click, left click, boom, boom, they're cleaned off. Uh, let's check the map out. Let's go to the east. Eat some food here. Get my hunger up. I should have crafted a shovel. I keep forgetting to do that. It's okay. A little bit more grass here in case we need to make some more food. Keep on the lookout for circuit boards. Check in the map, make sure I don't miss anything on the edges. Oh, there's a cube. Important to just always be gathering some of these basic resources early on as you're exploring for cubes, um, just so you can keep things running. Actually, I don't think I can carry another cube. I don't have anything in here I want to drop. I guess I could drop the water if I had to. I think about heading back below half on my O2. Oh, that's what I wanted. All right, we're just going to dump the water ice. We're going to grab this. Alright, we're gonna head back. Hopefully I make it. Should be pretty much a straight shot. Have enough daylight to make it back. Uh, you can also build vehicles later on, which is going to make exploration a lot easier, um, go a lot further. They're like outdoor riding buggies though, so it's not like you're going to sit in them and have all the O2 you need. Ooh, I might not make it back, guys. My O2 is really low. This is going to be cutting it close. I might actually die here. Gonna be super close. Oof. That was so close, I almost died. <laughs> we made it. Got a little Christmas video game music here in the background. That's good. Right, let's get our research started. We'll be able to unlock our batteries. Well, night time. Power our bioreactors. Alright, we're getting batteries unlocked here. We'll call that an episode for today. Hopefully you all are enjoying watching Moon Base play through here. Again, this is still early access, but uh, a lot of improvements since its original release into early access and uh, looking forward to continuing the playthrough with all of you. I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward here to having our research unlocked so that we can um, unlock batteries and call it. Be right back.
Alright guys, we are back. We have our 10 tech upgrade points. We're gonna go ahead and unlock batteries. Fix our leak. And they might have changed this. I might need a chemistry station in order to craft batteries. Let me see if they did change that. Oh, nope, they didn't right there. Oh, they did, I think. Because I need battery cells, which I think I have to make with the chemistry station. All right, so I need four plates. Okay. I think I got enough to do this real quick, guys. Like I said, well, I'll end the episode after I have a battery, so it's kind of throwing me for a loop here. Four plates going. You'll need some copper wire. And I think that's all we need for the chemistry station. Let's see. Yep, just need to grab these metal plates. Need to craft our platform. Mm. <laughs> Again, this inventory management. A little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, let's craft that. Drop that. Achievement unlock, getting cozy. All right, we got our chem lab. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this for right now. Um, let's just put it right here. So we got our research. <laughs> Water and blue mushrooms. All right, let's see. I need three of those. So I need six copper wire and three chemicals. Okay. Let's get our copper wire first. Okay, we got our six copper wire. I think I have some... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I go to the map. Bunch of ice down here. Got blue mushroom. Blue shroom, blue shrooms. Alright. So let's go up here real quick. We'll grab our blue mushrooms and we gotta grab some ice and All right, we need this ice. Let's grab these blue mushrooms. Okay. Got some blue shrooms south of us, and we'll go swing over and pick up that ice, and that should be enough for us to get the batteries eaten here. Oh no, guys, I'm gonna die. I wasn't paying attention to my O2. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh no! Dead! Well, that can happen, guys. You don't pay attention to your meters. I thought it was hunger and it was O2. Um, we'll go ahead and load in. We'll get this done. Gotta figure out where I'm at now because I don't remember what I was doing. Um, I don't have my chem lab. Okay. Uh, let's 
let's craft four of those. Alright, we're almost back to where we were. Just gonna have to go in and refill my oxygen before we leave. Okay. Go over here, grab these plates. Let's make a few more of these. Gonna need them for our copper wire. Okay. Uh. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's go get some oxygen. that fill up. Alright, I thought we were almost done with the episode and I had to go and die. Well, it's a good life lesson, I guess. You can later on craft automatic airlocks that will automatically uh, open and close for you as you walk into them. Ooh, what is that? I think that's a blue mushroom seed. I'm gonna leave it there for right now. Let's be plant blue mushrooms. go pick up that blue mushroom seed. It's kind of a rare thing. But I think I need to get some more ice water, which is right over here. I should have enough time to gather it up and get back with the O2 reserves that I have. Where is that ice? Right over here. So the ice, we make water, the water and blue mushrooms make the chemicals, chemicals make the battery cells, battery cells make the big batteries we need for storing power. I think we have enough. I want to pick up that blue mushroom thing, but I've got to make some room in my inventory. Okay, there we go. Ugh, just gotta make sure I don't run out of oxygen again. There we go. Okay. Okay, we just yeah, filled up on enough oxygen. So as we add more base parts, that oxygen reserve gets larger, which is gonna refill me more quickly. All right, oh, I need to craft my water. I think I needed six water. I'm just going to dump some of this stuff into storage. That's good enough. I think I have enough. Six. 
Some oxygen before I die here. What am I missing here? I thought my battery was in the I was like, why can I not find my batteries? Oh, you gotta unlock them. That's why. Okay. Two, four, six. Yep, I should be able to get three of those. That's what happens when you die. You forget what you have to do over again. <laughs> Had to re research. Alright. Um. Yay, power storage. I'm going to stick that right there for now. And yay, we have our battery. These bars will fill up as they get charged. And the more solar panels we have, uh, the quicker that will charge up. Now you can see we have battery power storage over here filling up. Now, if we were using equipment, this would either be going down or staying stagnant, depending on the amount we were consuming versus what we're generating. Yeah, you know, it goes up pretty quick here. All right, everybody. Been going about an hour now, so a little over an hour. Um, I'm going to call that an episode for today. Hopefully, you're having fun watching me play Moonbase. Um, Feel free to leave some comments below. Uh, like to see me do some stuff. If you have questions, feel free. I'll go ahead and answer them in the next session. Again, that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you for joining me on the playthrough, episode one. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care. <laughs>